All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to organize your iTunes uh, media library to look like this. So I have all of my TV shows and all of the uh, metadata information along with them. So it's uh, kind of nice when you're sp uh, streaming to Apple TVs. So that includes uh, TV and uh, movies. So. Uh, Right now, I am working on House. I have the complete series, and I want to add it to my iTunes library. So in my previous video, I showed you how to convert MKVs to MP4. I, would, uh, I will add a link um, to that video. I would definitely suggest checking that out. Uh, it's a nice, easy way to convert. Anyway, so I've got a whole bunch of compatible MK or MP4s for to be adding to iTunes. So I'm already at this point. So if you're not at that point yet, uh, make sure you go back into the video and check out how to convert uh, your media. Anyway, so I've got season one and season two are already loaded here um, with all the information. So these are in 1080p. Uh, that's why I redid them. I can't play the video because of YouTube. But that's okay. So anyways, we're not here to watch house. We're here to figure out how to make your iTunes look like this. Uh, so then off the bat here, I'm just going to have my uh, season file. So this is just on one of my hard drives. I'm going to be using one program. Now it's uh, called Meta Z. I'll have a link in the description for it. So this is basically the tool I'm going to be using. Um, my media is in the location I'm going to want to load it into iTunes, so make sure if it's in a downloads folder, you move it to your external hard drive, to your internal storage, like on my Mac Pro here, I have some internal storage uh, that's 3 terabytes and then 3.5 terabytes, and then some external storage, which is my time machine, uh, it's 2 terabytes. So anyways, this is on my one data one. Um, TV series folder. I made sure it's so it's in the proper location because uh, when you first get Meta Z and you install it from the website here, you're going to want to go into preferences and set up a few different uh, a few different things. Sorry, my dog is coughing his face off. Uh, so you're going to want to come into the preferences here and um, make a few changes. So uh, make sure you have add to iTunes selected. You can have an alert window and uh, the OSX notifications. And then you can uncheck this update iTunes. Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure the feature add to iTunes does the exact same thing. So I normally have it undone. I just restored the computer. So I have this here and then I'm in Canada, so I'm going to select the Canadian rating. You also want to come over here to file, so if you're adding a lot of TV shows, it's better just to select this as TV show, and then you're not prompt every time you add one particular episode, one after another after another, or if it's like a batch drag, then you only get asked once. But it's still kind of annoying, so if you do add movies, uh, just as an example, if I import, say, a file here, it's going to automatically select it as a TV show. So if I go into, I believe it's right under here on the video tab, it's under. So if it was a movie, I would have to change it to a movie. If you don't, you won't find the proper data for it. And you'll be sitting there going, why isn't this working? So if you do choose to use that preset like I do, Make sure you change it to movie. If it's not a TV show, it's a movie. And then for plugins, you can just leave all this the same here. Um, you don't really have to worry about changing any of those settings. So once you drag in your episode, I'm just going to drag in the first one here. Make sure we put this back to TV show. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the uh, videos tab. And then here you'll want to put in the show information. So. Basically, you're going to be searching um, different databases for it. Um, there's one that I normally use. It's TVDB, I think. 
So this is season three, episode one, and then you need to refresh the list. So if you have not two or three, you can click on another one here, that, or you can click on this bar here. So it's it was season three, and I didn't put the episode in here because I wanted to show. So you can specify one episode, or if you select a multi-list, so say I have a bunch of them here, so I have the whole season now. I could drag them all in. It's going to get mad and say the one's already loaded. Now, this will save you guys for in the end, for you guys who start doing this, and then you're doing one by one by one. Well, just come in here, select them all. Then you'll see the multi-edit, so you see that. So I'm going to go house, and then MD. Now, if the media you have is named on the side here and you know numbered, it's going to be really easy to match it up. So you can go season. Now, if it's not and you're looking at the list from like a website to see which episode belongs in which order, uh, what you can do is once you click out of it, each episode you can just number. So I could do this one as this is episode one, this is episode two, and episode three. I'll just do three this way. So when I go back into the list, it's only going to give me the episodes for what it has as season three, episode one of House. So like I was saying, the DBTV, so this little icon on the side here, this is the website that I prefer to get my data from. Uh, these are user submitted tags, so some of them could have additional information. You can, as you click on each one, it'll change. And so you can kind of see some of them have different artwork. Some of them might have, like this one here has a different date, September 4th. This one says September 5th. Anyways, so it's some drama. You can basically, I choose the DB. You have to double tap and you'll see all of it come up in blue here. Now, if you're ever going through a TV series and you're kind of like, it's not allowing you to go right all, because I've done this with a lot of media. Like you guys can see here, my iTunes library, this is no joke. I've spent hours upon hours um, inserting this data. So if you're really passionate about using the Apple TVs and this is what you really want to use your own media. Apple doesn't allow you to watch it on a lot of, you know, different formats. So this is kind of your option right here. Um, so if you're like me and this is what you want, you can, you can do what I do. Anyways, so yeah, th I, this is what I use here. Make sure all the boxes come up check blue. Make sure there's uh, an image here. If there isn't, insert one yourself and then here right or else the right will not, it just will blare or gray out, sorry, and it won't work. So we could move on. I could do this whole series here. Let's see how quick I can do it if I'm really good at it here. I don't want to drag this video on. So now, because I didn't add the episode info here, it's best to stay in this video tab and try to line this up. So this is episode four. You'll see it come up here when I select it once. So that'll be episode four. I'm not gonna make this video long, so we're just gonna go up to episode four and I'll write the data and I'll worry about doing the rest there. So there you go. One, two, three, and four. We'll drag it over because we can watch live in the files here. We'll go write all. This won't take too long. Basically what it's gonna do is repack your MP4 with the data included. So you'll even see a preview here has now changed. Um, I haven't had any issues with rewriting them, more or less. I've converted something, and for some reason, the audio container wasn't proper, so it wouldn't play on, say, the iPad, or it wouldn't play on the Apple TV. So that was more of a, I needed to run it through Handbrake, a different encoder, because I converted it. It was probably an MKV that I you know swapped the container over without uh, <laughs> properly converting it. So. Once this is done, it takes about 30 seconds an episode. These are pretty big, so, you know, here we go. Here's the original, so this is what we're working with. That's a 1.34 gigabyte episode. It's a 10, or yeah, that should be a standard 1080p. So, we'll let it run. Um, I'll probably speed this section up just because we're probably running into, you know, five minutes and I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Um, there's not too much to see at the end here beyond we'll maybe sit in-house and we'll watch it update. <clears throat> So you can see the first episode is already there. 
it's added to um, iTunes, and now I'll be able to watch it on my Apple TVs, uh, be able to watch it on my iPads, my iPhone. I can watch it over um, AirPlay on my Mac, you know, or my MacBook, sorry. So it's kind of, you know, really nice for organizing, keeping your media clean. This is more of a, you know, if you're really picky and you really want to organize your media again, uh, my iTunes library, I've had a lot of people take a look at it and go, wow, that's really nice. And uh, yeah, thank you. So I think it is too. Um, I have a kid and I'm a bit of a kid myself. So of course, Pokemon is here. And uh, yeah, rate, subscribe, comment if you guys have any troubles or run into any, um, cons you know, sticky spots that you're like, what the hell is going on here? And yeah, I'll help you out. So again, uh, tutorials by me, rate, subscribe, and uh, much love. Thanks for watching.